Okay, today's day 361, and I thought I'd uh, change it up a little bit and play some golf. So, first hole, par 4, 305 yards. The driver goes 255 yards on this one and kind of rolls out there to the right side underneath that tree. And I gotta get, gotta get over this hill a little bit. Took a 52 degree wedge, um, popped it up a little bit, and kind of landed it just past the green um, on the left side, kind of by that tree area. Uh, yeah, that, that green tree. So that got me really close to the green, but I still had to hit it off the grass, and that's always a little bit unpredictable, but we were able to get par on this first hole. And then of course on the second hole, um, par three should be really simple. I immediately shank it right and lose the ball like underneath this drainage area. So gotta take a provisional here. And that kind of lands like right in between my legs on the left side of the green. I kind of circled it there with that little red circle. Hit a pitch shot and send it a little bit too far, but hey, we're on the green, so try to get up and down here to save bogey, but that doesn't work out, and we leave it just real close, real close, and end up getting a little tap in here. So taking a double bogey here on the uh, second hole after the lost ball, and we're two over through two. This one I caught a little bit fat. This is another par three. Um, good distance though, and I was still able to get it the distance I wanted to go, but see there where I've circled, it's kind of landed on the left side of the green. Hit a little pitch shot with the uh, pitching wedge. Get a pretty good roll on it, but still leave it probably 10-ish feet short. And this one is really close, but I, I, just, I just barely miss it. Um, and then I go to clean it up here. I've got like two feet left, three feet left, and just missed that one so ended up taking another double bogey here to uh, put us at plus four through three and then here we are on the fourth hole hit a really nice six iron got it to go about 186 yards and it goes right um, right underneath that tree there on the right the only goofy thing about this shot is it kind of lands on the side of a hill that's underneath that tree and it's gonna send my ball left so I try to aim right a little bit and get it to go to the green um, I screwed up the filming here, but we ended up taking a bogey on this one. Then on this next hole here, um, hole for number five, we got pretty decent nine iron shot that lands on the right side of the green. I think this comes up a little bit short, I can't remember. Yeah, it comes up a little bit short, put it off the grass and leave that one short. So I definitely got to work on the, uh, the, the speed on the putting. Missed it, that one real close and we end up taking a, um, a bogey on that one as well. So that puts us at six over through five. Here we are on the six hole. This one just basically goes, you know, a push to the right, uh, but it ends up in a pretty decent spot. It leaves me about 40 yards to pitch it onto the green. This is a par four, but it goes a bit too far and um, you got a putt downhill and this gets really, really close actually. So really hoping that I could have uh, could have knocked that one in that would have been pretty sweet however we don't and we got to do I think we end up doing a two putt here so that might put us up um, yeah I think this one's gonna be a bogey because I yeah I missed that one and make this last one here so moving on to the next one I catch this one fat it lands on the left side here should be a really simple par three but of course uh, I goof that up hit a pretty decent pitch shot up there so now we're just putting and send it just to the right a little bit take another bogey here and that puts our score at plus eight through like seven holes eighth hole hit a pretty nice pitching wedge I think it goes a little bit far to the left yep and from there, I have to hit a little, um, I think I use a pitching wedge again, as a matter of fact, and leave it about 10 feet off to the side, but was able to sink that. So we got our first par of the day. It's nice to get one in, only nine holes, but here on the ninth hole, this is kind of funny because my driver head cover's in the way. It's blocking all of the water that I'm trying to avoid. So I take a six iron on this par four and end up just hitting it dead off the toe and skid it across the uh, fairway there but that left me about 135 140 yard um, shot took my nine iron and hit it basically to the back of the uh, green here on this hole 
And then here we are again on the edge of the grass trying to putt, and you know what I do? I just leave it super short. Um, so that leaves me two putts when I actually get onto the green here, I believe. That was another really close putt. And so I end up finishing with a bogey on this last one. And the final score, plus 9, or a score of 40, um, with the par being 31. But all in all, this is actually one of my best scores that I've tied now a few times on this course. So I'm happy with it.